Hello! What is going on? We're here with our album, with our Illuvitars. And I'm really trying to um, get up in the leaderboards, but I don't know if I can. If I look at the leaderboards right here, number 100, Kieran, for Glamington, has 50,000 points. Ah, uh, no, has 400,000 points. And right now I'm on 126. So I would have to quadruple my points to get in the leaderboards and I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more going on because tomorrow there's the cutoff date from which the rewards are gonna be calculated. So I think today there's gonna be a lot more people pushing trying to get up in those leaderboards. I've talked to Garf. Where's Garf? He's somewhere here. Where's Johnny? There's Garth, 72. And I asked him, like, how much did he spend and, and whatever, and it was quite a lot. It wasn't as much as I was scared it could be, but it's still a lot. And I don't know if I have the funds to get up there. So basically, I have a thousand bucks in Ethereum and 700 SLV left over. I think I will use the SLV to open some mega disks and maybe be lucky and get a ramp fire. And depending on what we pull, we're gonna decide if we're gonna bond everything and try to get up in those leaderboards. I can use the thousand bucks in Ethereum to buy some Illuvitars. But for example, the cheapest ramp fire right now is 2000 something. So I can't buy a ramp fire, I have to pull it. And also I don't wanna bond my most priced Illuvitars, like this quiz right here with the tier five background. We're 500 bucks right now. I don't want to bond it because then you lose a lot of value. Same with this Axon. He has a tier 5 stage 3 background. So that's huge. And yeah. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I can get there. Because if I start bonding now and then I, I realize I can't get up in the leaderboards. I don't have enough. I kind of lose a lot of money by bonding everything and kind of burning all the, the accessories. The other thing I was thinking about. I don't really have a lot of good accessories anyway. Like my best one is the Fedora, which is around 150 bucks right now. And then it's just like around 10%, 12%. I guess everything except the Fedora I would be happy to bond. Also those meme glasses would be really cool on one of my Louvitars. Maybe even on my... On one of the Lynxes to make it my profile picture. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's buy some mega discs and see how we go. It's a, it's a really tough choice for me right now. I haven't opened any non-alpha mega discs yet. And we're specifically fishing for uh, the stuff that I'm still missing. So all the tier 5s, I don't have them. Let's see. Set one, wave one. Basically, I'm missing Ramfire, which is way too expensive to buy. Goliath, which is a little bit more than 200 bucks right now. And Adorado and Gazier, who are both also around 200 bucks, I think. But I could buy those three, but I can't buy the Ramfire. So that's what we're gonna try to, to pull out of some Mega Discs. Select Mega. Select a lot of them. How many can I buy? We're buying an SLV2 naturally. I don't know, let's buy 10 I guess. See how we go, 400 bucks. Bam! Screw it. Get him. Got him. 
Alrighty. Let's open some mega discs. I didn't open any alpha mega disc or standard mega discs. The only thing, only mega I opened so far was yesterday. Kieran opened two for me. I wasn't very lucky with those. I got a theory, which is kind of sick. Discs. No alpha. But mega. There we go. Three, six, nine. Oh, I got a lot more than I thought. Oh, those are the mega discs. Why are they showing up if I didn't say mega? Uh, if I didn't say alpha. Fine. So what we got? Three, six, nine, ten, eleven, and here's the first alpha. Now it's only alpha. All right, we got eleven. One extra. Load them. Load them up. Nice. Another Fedora. Closingly 150 bucks in here. Almost getting our money back already. The rest is not that good. We can later check out on... Or we can do it right now. Recent discs on uh, Illuvial Master. And we can see how much it's supposedly worth. It's not 100% accurate, but it's a, a pretty good guideline. Mega discs. Really gotta be careful to not open any alpha mega discs here. It would be nice if there was a bit, if you could sort them a little bit better so you don't mix them up all the time. Here it comes. Again. Ooh. What a beauty. I think we have that one already. Come on, buddy. Come on, Mozart. I'm not gonna skip you this time. Just do your thing. Get me a ramfire, and we're good. And we're friends forever. Oh. Alright. Probably should have used those 400 bucks to just buy Illuvitars that I need, instead of trying to fishing for them, but... You know me, I like gambling. Oh, that's a sick background. That's a strong background. How much are they left? Seven? After we're done opening those mega discs, we're gonna try to just um, 
fill out all the sleeves of our album and see how, how far we are in the leaderboards. And if it makes sense to buy some. Also, if we buy some Illuvitars and we don't bond them, or even if we bond them, they, they can also appreciate in value later on. So it's not like... You don't really lose... Nice, I don't have a Diamond Axon, Axodon yet. You don't really lose all the value, it's just... I don't know. Kind of feels bad to, to bond your, your really expensive Illuvitars. Right, so far I think only the first discs really had a lot of value in them. There we go, now we see all the open discs, so we got... The Axodon right here is worth 42 bucks, so that's, that's a net plus. And we have another 21 bucks here. I think a mega disc is around 20 bucks, so that's good. All those serious Axodon, 60 bucks. Hey, we're making good money here. And then we got the mega disc here with the golden fedora. So that's looking good. Not bad, actually. I didn't think those would be worth so much. Prices are going up now that everybody wants to get in those leaderboards. Would be nice if there was like an alpha logo right here in the middle. Just to be very sure every time what you're opening. It's such a cool tool. Really see everything at once. I can't believe Kieran yesterday opened 200 mega discs. Insanity and gave it all away. Such a champ, man. Community really blessed having such a good leader. Such a generous one as well. <laughs> Alright, let's skip this. Reveal all. Give me the money. Eh. We see it right away. There are four bucks on this one, so... It was kind of a fail. Don't see the newest one yet. It's not going so good. <laughs> Damn. Alright, we got one more, two more, three more. Maybe we save one. Fourteen bucks on this one, eighteen bucks on that one. Feel the ramp fire coming, man. Right around the corner. Show me the money. Yes, sir. Adorado. That's a 200 bucks in the pocket. Nice. Hell yeah. All right, let's open all of them. Look at that, 277. Yeesh, it's a nice background. Really makes the purple Adorado pop.
Ooh, there we go. That's another, I don't know, 150 bucks in the pocket. Hell yeah, we're being really lucky now. What are we missing? A Goliath and a Ramfire. Do we have both of those in the next disc? Just, you know, why not? Come on, baby. <laughs> Almost. Got a cook instead. A really good background on the dash, though. It's worth a lot. Alright, I think that's it with the Mega Discs. There's a lot of standard discs left. Sweet! Case here, 150 bucks. Also, background on a TNT. Pretty nice, 12 bucks on that. The dash coming in with 90 bucks with the really strong background tier 4 stage 2. Hell yeah! Not bad. All right, let's now go into the album and bond uh, and sleeve everything. See how far we are off from our goal. Auto fill. I wish there was an autofill all button, so you don't have to do it sleeve by sleeve, but at least we got the sleeve autofill. It was pretty fast. I think you get a lot of points if you fill out uh, whole collections. And also what we can do, we can bond like one Illuvitar with all accessories and it goes in a lot of sleeves. So we don't have to bond too many. I talked to Garth, again rank 72 or something right now and he bonded, he has like five bonded Illuvitars. The rest is just really rare and really good ones. He has a Ramfire and everything. Crazy that Ramfire is so expensive, even though it has the same odds as like an Adorado or a Goliath. It's also stage 5. <laughs> Adorado and Goliath is 200 bucks, and Ramfire is 2000. <laughs> it's a bit tedious. But it's alright. To get faster. Now we're filling in automatically all the highest points, the, the strongest Illuvitars, all to the slot. And then we can see if we want to bond those Illuvitars to make it even better. Or if we're too far off. We can also capitalize on this push of the market right now and just start selling rare Illuvitars. That people would need to finish collections. I really I have a lot of good backgrounds. I feel like there's a lot of people gonna buy up those backgrounds to fill it up. It would be sad if there was an autofill all button. I just missed it, but I don't think there is. 
We're almost through. Right now we're on 200 points. So kind of halfway there. Boom. For example, right here, we got the Axolotl collection. We have everything except one. And this one probably is pretty cheap. And you can buy one for two bucks. So let's just do that. It actually has more power than the others. So goodbye. Nice. We go back. Fill it up. It's not. Didn't refresh yet. Alright. We'll do it later when it's refreshed. And then again, we have like nature collections or something where there's a lot of unreleased. So it's not really important to fill them up because you cannot complete them yet. What do you mean buy now, Adorator? We got one. We pulled one. Guess it doesn't refresh very fast. Blood. I don't know, Flood. Mammoth. Missing in the Harbinger. Hey, there's gonna be so incredible sick looters coming out in the future. Congratulations on successfully completing Axolotl. There we go. And we get extra points if you complete the whole thing. I mean, you get also extra points for all the milestones. We got it all. Fully filled out. Feels good. Comes another one. Backgrounds. I think we got all the backgrounds filled out. Completed. Boom! Nice animation. Another 2000. So right here we could, for example, hit the milestone. Where we collect all the dashes, no? Stage 2, stage 1, oh yeah. If we get the last dash, we'd hit a milestone. How much is it? 34! No messy. Yeah, Mel. Two in a row, that was pretty lucky. That's the sleeving bug. There are about 30 Luvitars that I cannot sleeve even though I have them. Like you just bought them or you, you had them for a long while and it's still not working? There we go, now it sees the Adorito. I can fill that one in. Alright, we're almost done with sleeving. Oh, Flood is the stage 2 Tiktolik already. Komodo dragon. 
One of the coolest Illuvials, I think, out there. The Snoop Dogg Illuvial, as Andrew calls it. Token backgrounds. Still missing two of them. See how expensive they are. 80 bucks. I am. Um, 500 bucks for this one. Holy moly. I think we have these links, no? Thought I had a links with that background. Still not working. They may delay the rewards. Yeah, I've heard. Braggy said something about that. That it's gonna snapshot is gonna be delayed. Be nice to see if you click like I click on this other radar right now to see in how many collections he's currently in. So to see if I want to bond him and gain value a lot uh, across many sleeves. All the tier zeros. Last one, let's see. Still around 2000 now. 240, that's still so far off. <laughs> Damn. If we look at the leaderboard, I think you can disregard like the last 10 spots because those are gonna there's gonna be more people pushing in. So I guess you need like around 500,000 to really be <laughs> to really be in the safe zone. And it feels like you need to set one collection. It's gonna give you a lot of extra points. It feels like this guy doesn't have it. His best one is the Atipo Illuvial line. I, I, Empire, I ran fire. That's not gonna happen. How much do you get if you fill it out? Oh, wave one. That's funny. I could fill out the other radio in another sleeve, but not here. Oh, we got a better, got a better links than that. Oh, we got a better one than that. That's a bit annoying that it keeps like the old ones. It doesn't like it doesn't recognize that you gained a, a better one and can like automatically swap them. You would have to unsleeve them all. Like all those guys. Damn. I would have to unsleeve them all and that seems like a lot of work. We have milestones in here. 
I'm missing a line through the radar and for hey I feel you man. You have 331. That's so close, man. Giddy. That's what I'm thinking. Like, if I start investing now and try, try to get up there, maybe I'll just won't make it and it, it kind of was a waste, so. Damn, there's not an option to unsleeve everything. You really have to go to every single Illuvitar and change them up. There should be a button like autofill where you, it upgrades all your Illuvitars to the strongest ones. Like all those guys, I have better ones already. It's also a bit annoying that not the strongest one shows up at top. Definitely have a better dash there. I think I'm just gonna start selling those. Those 200, 100 bucks uh, dashes and the, the backgrounds and everything. I guess I'm not gonna try to get in the leaderboards, but just make money off people that try to get in the leaderboards. Because now I opened 10 um, or 11 discs right here. And if we do like a quick math, it's like 100, 250, uh, 500. I'm just rounding down because it's not really perfectly accurate. So uh, 500, uh, 530, 570, 590, 650. And 50, 850, what, what, what was it saying? 650, 750, 8, 830. So let's just round it down and say 800 bucks. And how much did I spend? I opened 11 discs. How much is that? Around 500 bucks. So if I manage to sell all of them, which is kind of likely right now, I feel like, uh, I would have made 300 bucks right now. Do we just keep opening? <laughs> Keep opening till a ramfire comes and then throw everything overboard and start <laughs> start trying to run for the leaderboards. And people are crazy. Like to get in the top 50, you probably have to spend like, I don't know, 10 to 20 thousand bucks. Or be super lucky, but it's rather most of those people like spend a lot of money. Goryox on 26. Fully bonded holo theory. That's crazy. There's people in there who don't even set their profile picture. But they have 700,000 points. <laughs> Tomato cultivator. Who's first? Space lover. By a margin, by the way. He's far ahead. All the atipos, all bonded. And there's still so much space, like, which they could whale in. Because as you see, all those atipos, they have, like, those sunglasses. But there is, like, double as good sunglasses on the market. All the clown's noses, like, there is still so much better accessories. But all the 20% accessories are way too expensive. Yes, it's painful. <laughs> I love the art too much to bond. That's what I'm saying. Like, 
most like sometimes it looks good but most of the time you're kind of ruining the art with the with the accessories i mean sometimes it looks really good right and it's also preference like i personally personally just like very clean stuff but yeah no way i'm i'm like putting anything on my profile picture i like it original Also, it's quite hard to manage when you're selling. You should remember which one you use in album. Yeah. It's tough, man. You have to remember like hundreds. Hundreds of Illuvitars that you're using for your album. And you also should use like... I have to check every single one if there if I have a better one by now. Because I sleeved uh, like uh, weeks ago. I probably have a better Kuka by now. Actually not. No holo cooker. Oh, there's one. 693. Like just the user interface can can there uh, can be a lot that can be improved, I feel like. I haven't bonded a single Illuvitar actually. I, I should do that. I feel like I should do that. Which one to do though? Which one is in the most collections? That's what I want to know. Probably they're all in similar amount of collections. Let's bond the tier zero. What's going on here? Can I not change them? Oh, there you go. Like all of them, I'm sure I have better ones. There's one with 40 in here and I have one with 800. Like, that's crazy. I really... I really have to <laughs> work through every single single sleeve. Check if I have the best ones in there. That's really tough. For 50. Like, did I sell those already? I don't even have it anymore. 450. Change Illuvitar. It's not here. So actually, if you sell them, they still stay in your album, which shouldn't be the case. So that's buggy as well. Who to bond? I think the, the Volantes look pretty cool when you bond them. Those Air, Nature and Earth Volante. 150, that's the only one. Here we go. Wow, that's so tedious. Insane. Like, just because it's so much work involved, I'm probably not gonna do it. Because I cannot be bothered to sit like three hours here and check every single Louvitar if I have a better one. Even though I'm getting a nice, nice pop-up every time. What about alpha? How many you got? I bought like 20 alpha mega alpha discs just to hold on to them for the future. And I only opened standard alpha. And I was I got pretty lucky with those. I just filter them by alpha. Don't tell me I can't filter by alpha. There we go. There it is. <laughs> First thing. <laughs> so I got the links with a sick background. Oh, it's probably better to, to look through it here. Yeah, so I got this hollow water flish. Well, actually, it's not that much, to be honest. But I opened like a few standard discs. Like, that's all, you know. How many we got? Two, four, 
6 times 3, 36, 38. Divided by 2, 19. So I opened 19 standard discs. That's what I got. I was pretty stoked about the, the holo pull. I was getting a bit desperate because I was pulling a lot of shit. I don't know why this dish is so high up there. Maybe I should sell it. But I really think everything is gonna appreciate in value. I'm a bit scared that people will lose interest once like there is more waves and sets coming out and it's impossible to catch up to early adopters and whales. I hope there is gonna be more incentive to for like Small wallets to also like get some rewards. But yeah, for Alpha, I'm basically holding on to the mega discs. Little value 8,000. That's good, I should sell more i think it's just impossible to sell the small ones like i don't know they're also really hard to to sort through everything have like it's very very messy everything's everywhere very hard to have an overview But Illuvial Master really helps. So let's see what we want to sell. I don't want to sell out a Reed or a Squeeze or anything because I only have one of them. Maybe the Dash. 100 bucks. Here for stage 2. Let's see. Yo, Garf's here. More sets maybe, but waves not. Because you can only complete the collections when you have the previous wave thingies. Yeah. What are we doing here? First I was opening 10 discs, 10 mega discs, the first mega discs I ever opened. And now I'm thinking if I should bond and get up in the leaderboards or if I just don't have if I'm not whale enough if I'm not thick enough to get up there because like Garf told me I don't know if I'm allowed to say this but he spent more that my whole thing is valued right now on getting up to, to, to the leaderboard so I feel like I got no chance and I maybe should just start selling everything then again, it might appreciate in the future. I'm just pissed that I that I have to go through every single Illuvitar to update them in my collection. That there is not an upgrade button where I can upgrade the collection to my to my standards. Because Kukulus right here, I'm sure I have a better one already. This is 640. There, there we go. There's a thousand one hundred sitting in there. But I will never know until I go in manually and just change this one leaf so you aren't big enough no I don't think I am <laughs> 400k for leaderboards yeah I mean I could pull a little bit more assets but I'm, I'm really not I'm, I'm not close to it I think I think the dream of the leaderboards will go away Just want to pull a ramfire. If I can pull a ramfire, I would probably go all in, but. Then again, like in the long run, I don't think I, I, I have the commitment to just keep battling with the whales. But I got pretty lucky in the 10 discs we pulled. It cost me around 400 bucks or 500 bucks, and we pulled a value that is around 800 bucks. So I might just keep opening. But 
Let's sell the dash. Also, we got another Fedora. Maybe I just keep opening and selling stuff until I run out of money or uh, I got enough that I get up in the leaderboards. That's probably, probably the best idea for my situation. Such a grind to sell those guys though. Have to go in here. Everybody has a better way to do it than tell me. You have to sort through to get exactly what yours is. So we got a tier 4 background stage 2. Then we go for inks. I like that. Ah, oh, inks. What am I saying? Same, same, but different. Let's go tick. Two, two, two last sign. Yes, there we go. Now we see what it's worth, right? 97. Yeah, I was super uh, lucky with the discs. The last few I pulled was crazy. Pulled a gaze here, a dash, and the other radar. 100, 170, 290. That was really good. There's a few shitty ones. First one was the Gold Fedora, so... Really lucky on that one. Alright, so now we found out the link, uh, the dash price. Now if I want to sell it... I have to also find it in my collection. <laughs> like, it's not bad, the interface, but there's so much more that needs to be done to really be super user-friendly. There it is. Zero, zero, five. That's what he listed it for. So we go four nine. Should be good. Final list price is below the lowest. I've been selling quite a lot, actually. Like all my Ethereum in this account is just from selling stuff. Ubidex. You're free stage three for the links. That one. Bam, yeah, that's good. I don't wanna sell the axon. Tier 3 stage 3, uh, tier 4 stage 3. I think that's gonna go, that's gonna be rare in the future. I don't know how important it is, but... Bond them all, bro. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think if I bond them all, I can get up in the leaderboards, like on a secure spot. Maybe I could could get up on like 95 or something and then I'm gonna be kicked out of the leaderboards anyway. I'm missing a lot of points. Like a lot of my Louvitars, like I said, are the, not the best ones are bonded. I would have to go through every sleeve, 
pick on every Luvitar and check if the best one is bonded for them. Right here, this Vermilia, I'm sure I have a better one. 780, there we go. So I feel like I could... There is a lot of more points hidden in my collection, but I don't think I can get up to 500,000. Hey, let's sell some fedoras. The next problem is, if I put in golden fedora... Shows me all the fucking fedoras. Even though I put in golden. <laughs> like... This... Like, this is not made for me. It's just... Ah. Makes me anxious, all this... All this... Collection shenanigans. Wow. Okay, it's. <laughs> I thought it went from 175 to 970. It's ordered by the lowest price. Probably mine. On this. Zero point zero nine four. Oh! I wish I could just put in the final price here, but I have to like. Experiment around to find the price that I need. 0 0.94. How does it give you more? Red 80. Nope. Red 76. Nope. Hundred seventy-two. That's good enough. Copy that for the next one. Like the whole Illuvidex is very clunky. I'm sure it's gonna get way better in the future. This is just like the first version of it, but it's giving me a lot of trouble. Maybe it's me. Alright, we got the Fedora on the marketplaces. Never gonna sell those meme glasses. I wanna bond them to something. Can't sell the Squiz or the Adorito or this one or that one. Could sell the Serious Axum. Let's open some more discs. Fuck it. Good. There's not much arbitrage anymore. SLV is pretty much the price of ILV right now.
or I'll be uh, 59. Crazy. Used to be 50% or 40% off. I hate the Illumidex 2. I don't hate it. It's still like way better than all the competitors or whatever. Like it's still the best web free NFT PFP marketplace interface or probably the only one we uh, there is out on the market. But it's still the best, but yeah, it needs to improve. It, ne it needs to be improved a lot. To really have an enjoyable time on the Illumidex right now, it's it's kind of a pain in the ass. How am I doing? Mega disc, no alpha, load it. Yeah, I know what you mean with I hate it. You don't really hate it. Comes out so easy. We say hate so easy, but it's so hard to say I love you. <laughs> hey, that's some nice sunglasses. And a nice Fury. Hell yeah. That's a good pull. I wonder how much the Fury floor is right now. Ooh. I thought it would be more. Damn, nine bucks? That's rough. That is rough. Good thing we got another one. And then after all, if you get in the leaderboards, like, what, if you place 50 to 100, you get a half LV per week. That's two LV per month. It's like a hundred bucks right now per month. That's really gonna... I don't know. I think it's a really tough choice if you decide to go for the leaderboard or not. And it could really bite you in the ass if you go for it and then you don't manage to get in or after one week you ca get kicked out and you can't like um, stock up and get more of them. And it's an ongoing battle too, it's really a commitment. Like if you go really, if you go for it now, you have to go for it every three months where the, when there is a new wave coming out. I'm not sure if I want to do that or if I want to just focus on something else. I mean, if you were gonna throw in the millions you have in your bank account anyway, because you don't know what to do with it, might as well throw it in Illuvitars, get rank 1 on the leaderboards, but... Different situation. Yikes! Apple. Alright, last one. Then I'm going back to standard discs. Most people pulled their ramfires out of standard discs. Or at least that's what I... That's what I heard people talking about. Obviously the chance is lower. And there's just more standard discs being opened. That's why we see them more and there's more... Talk about them.
Show me the money! <laughs> I'm not a sheer... Alright, that was a bad call. Back to standard. Screw the mega discs. I like standard more anyway because you have the same chance of finding rare accessories and those are worth a lot. Like the mega disc, the only reason really is to pull a ramfire, which is worth 2k. There is no real other reason right now to opening a mega disc over a standard disc, I feel like. And I don't know the chances, but it's probably 1 in 5,000 or 1 in 50,000 or whatever it is. Just not. Not really reasonable to, to go for the mega disc just to. in, in order to get a ramfire. We still did it. Still got a lot of good money out of it. There we go! Almost the same pull that we had in Mega Disc. Such a cool links. Looks like Scar from. What's it called? König de Lube. Long live the king. Lion, the Lion King. That's pretty much the same. One out of four thousand for a standard disc. Get a ramfire. What? I thought it was way more. The Ramfire is always over 1,250 power, so it's in the remaining 8%. Yeah, I have 12 times as much chance in a Mega Disc. Right, that's way better odds than I thought. So maybe we're just gonna get flooded with Ramfires in the long term. Like before this set sells out, or this wave sells out. I don't think Ramfire will hold a floor of 2000 in the next month, what I'm trying to say. I guess the even better approach to leaderboards now that I think about it is... Like if you want to go the cheap way, to wait another month or something. Let the hype pass a little bit and then... Then probably the floor went down a little bit. Alright, one in four thousand. Let's go. That one. Keep opening standard this till we find something good. Like really good. Noise holographic. Good luck, thank you. Hold the thumbs for me. Do you say that in English? In German speaking countries you can say I'm holding my thumbs for you, which means like good luck. It's kinda weird. Hey, huge background. Dope. Great. That flish is... Those backgrounds are really expensive, I feel like. I have the same one with the green one here.
Now it would be so nice if I just go into my collection, I click on an item and I say sell 1% below floor or whatever. I don't have to do the research where's the floor at or whatever. I just go into my profile, click on an item and I just say sell at floor. So it's like a little bit beneath floor price. Oh, less than I thought. Who would have thought the flesh is 50% more expensive than the Kuka with the nice background? Hey. Wheat antenna. You can do that on token trove, but only for XSS. The stage one background? Like those you mean? Those Yeah, but why is this flesh then valued at a 80 bucks? I mean it's alpha, but still. The tier zero stage one background. Uh tier zero stage one. Like same price as the Alpha Links with uh Tier 4 stage 1 background. Maybe that means I should try to sell the flish. But it could also mean it's just a little bit buggy and this is not actually the price it goes for. A rare expression. Makes sense. Token drove, I've never looked into it. Before accessories, but uh, if that works, if I can like automate a lot of this selling process and I can just click sell at floor for all the accessories I have, I would do that. Check it out. Imagine I'm getting scanned by Garfield now, <laughs> live on stream. <laughs> yeah. Cancel the old ones and put them in at floor price. That's dope. Thank you, Garf. That's what I was looking for. But you can't do it for Louitars? Wonder why. Because they have too many, like, um, properties, like impressions and background and everything. Everyone uses Token Drove. Well, now I do too. I haven't really looked into it too much. I just opened some discs and just discarded it a little bit again. Two out of two, lowest price. And then we're going. That's amazing. If you have very a look at the page before market, you can see how many of them are 
of them there are like it in comparison it adds to the value i don't understand that There we go, listed at floor price in a few in a few clicks. Oh, that's amazing. I'm gonna go through everything here and list it up. Why not? Basically it's just a fedora is worth something. The rest it's all like five bucks, ten bucks. 88 cents. Yeah, it makes sense. But does it work and it's just buggy, or does it not work at all if you try it with Illuvitars? Looks buggy. Okay. Go to your similar match, 93. Exact match, 5. Ah, that's nice. How about my squiz? I always wondered if he's, if he's a 1 out of 1. 6 out of 1s! Bam! So can I now check if I'm still the the floor for my fedoras? Yes, sir. This this app could have helped me to get closer to the other guy, not be three dollars apart, but we'll know it for next time. This sold for one point six ETH. Check how many of an existing Illuvitar your fish was probably in. Play. Check. In here? Which fish? This fish, where I say it's valued way too much. <laughs> I listed this guy pretty high. <laughs> I was pretty excited about the, about the pull. Oh yeah, actually clicking here on Marketplace brings you to Token Trove. There's mine.
It's still really hard with the with the Louis Turs to find the price. Because this one, which is exactly like mine, is 400 bucks. So this is basically the floor for exactly this one. But then you got that one right here, which is probably just as good for 130. And then you got this one right here for 48 bucks, which is probably... Well, it's not nature, but you know what I mean? It's... And this background doesn't mean anything. So probably there is uh, the same flish with a better background for less than 400 bucks. Top left, you see market activity assets go to assets. Top left, I guess it's here. There we go, sorry. Go to assets. We got a lot of them. <laughs> like, some accessories look really good and really fits the Lubitar. But if you look at that, it's just... Nah, man. Like, the head is just flying above the head. The, the chain looks pretty pretty natural. That one looks really good. But this hat is awful. That's basically it. So... Like, how do I find out for how much I can really sell this guy? Would you do it on token trove or back to the Luvidex? Ooh, nice color. It's like 10 bucks, I think. If I go in here... I feel like the Luvidex is almost easier to navigate, maybe because I'm just used to it. What are we looking for? Flish? Nature Flish? Now we can check the floor price. 20 cents. <laughs> Alright, now we go with the expression, because that's what makes him... Oh, it's also alpha, right? The whole point. Go alpha. Now the floor price is five bucks. Ugh! Look at that monstrosity. Awful. All right, now we go to the expression. Go to rare expression. That's it. Uh, basically the floor is 137. I don't think this background is any any worse than the other one. I guess this is a tier zero background. But it's both particles. No, it's the same tier.
You would have to look at the activity, see how many were sold, for which price, then take a reasonable value. Seems like 45 bucks for one won't do. You'd have to go below that. Yeah, I guess activity makes a lot of sense. So right now I would list it for 120 bucks. Just to be a little bit below the, f below the floor. Then you say... I can go to token trove, activity. Oh yeah, we gotta, gotta put alpha somewhere. What? Those are all alphas? Sold for 20 bucks? No way. That's crazy that... There's one for two bucks, alpha? This seems to be buggy. I guess four weeks ago that was when it was just came out and people just tried to get rid of their tier zeros and didn't realize that even tier zeros in alpha are kind of rare because of the limited supply, especially because of how little standard disc were sold. Like uh, uh, the mega disc were sold out, but the standard disc were uh, weren't. So I guess this is not really reasonable since it's like weeks ago. But I guess also nobody's buying alpha right now because it's more about collecting getting your album full. It's not about alpha right now. This is more a thing for the long term. I could just for fun put it at 120. See what happens. Yeah, I definitely don't want to tank the floor and bring it down, but as you say, I can't put it for 136, thinking somebody would buy it. I guess I would have to list it at least for 100. I'm also not stressed about selling alphas or in general, selling stuff quick now. Just want to play around with it and see, see how it goes. Yes, sir! Got the crunk and the standard disc. That's dope. Love this guy. Alright, so now if I want to sell him, I'm gonna do it over token trophy. Uh, I could do it way easier. Because I can find my assets really fast. Hey. Go in here. Put alpha somewhere. That's not true, man. <laughs> I don't I don't have those things. I I did something wrong. Wanna go into my collection? There we are. That's mine. All right. There we have the flish, and now we list him for it doesn't tell me how much dollar that is. Zero point zero six. Whatever. Doesn't really matter.
That's annoying, it doesn't show you the dollar price. I have a hard time calculating stuff in, in Ethereum. But a good thing is we don't even have gas fee. So if, if we're far off from our target, we're just going to do it again. We see it now on the Ludex. Instantaneously. I'll keep it like that. I want to keep the floor high. But like I said, I don't think many people are buying alphas right now. I don't think if... I don't know if somebody wants to have like an alpha album or whatever. I'm personally a little bit scared that Alpha is gonna lose a lot of value because everybody's just about collecting and uh, and and about the album feature instead of Alpha. But I don't know. Five years down the line, uh, down the line, that one wave one Alpha mega disc are probably gonna be worth way more. Like there's no way it's gonna be worth less. Dude, Garth, you're the man. You know every, you know the answer to every question. I feel like. Rego settings on token trove top right and toggle USD values. Settings. Oh, you're the man. Here we go. That's all I sold so far, with. Access to us. Oh, let's sell something else. Deal it. Maybe this guy. Or the Atlas. I don't like the background for the Atlas. Let's sell this guy. So. Wallet. I still feel like to really check the price. No, no, I can do it over there, right? I know. I feel the Iluvitax is a bit more, a bit better for for Iluvitars. Background tier three, stage three three. That's it, right? Seventeen bucks. What did the Louisville master say? 64! <laughs> oh, it's playful. The expression. This playful. 20 bucks. Rare or uncommon? Oh, it's uncommon. Holy schmoles. What's the... thousand for that one? Oh, it's Alpha too? Damn! That's a crazy pull. Yeah, 
Yeah, it was alpha that... that uh, mine is not alpha, I think. Or maybe it is, and that's why it's... That's why I'm so far off with the price. Oh, yeah, it's alpha. Now it all makes sense. I don't want to sell alpha. Let's sell some non-alpha. I guess this axon right here. So... Go in here. The little. I think they improved the search uh, window a little bit. I don't think you had the option of the actual three different stages before. Alrighty, what we got? We got rare expression, tier one, stage one, background. Those are the things I look out for. There's not much else, right? Stage one. Tier one. Rare. And holo. Is that our boy? Rare expression here in stage one. Holo. That's that's all the all the details we have, right? Rare. Floor price seventy six bucks. What did Illuvial Master say? 64. Now if I want to sell this guy, I'm going to do it on Token Trove. There I can see the final price right away instead of having to go through it. It's easier to find him as well. Polo Serious Axon. Axon, that's the guy, right? Polo Serious. List now. When I have a final price of 75. Oh no, I still can't see the the USD value even with the with the settings turned on, I guess. Maybe it didn't stay turned on. There we go. There we go, seventy-four ninety-nine. <laughs> Looks like in Walmart. No. Oh, I feel I feel way better being able to be working on the Luvidex a little bit more efficiently with Token Trove. Thanks again, Garth. Good tips. Now we're at the new floor. Yes, sir. Sweet. So basically, I think I don't have the funds to go high up in the leaderboards. And if I cannot really commit to the leaderboards, I think I shouldn't do it. If I don't want to be in for the long run. I might change my mind if prices go lower um, in the next month or two. But for now, I think... I'll, I'll stay out of the leaderboard. I'll leave this to the big... I'll leave this to the big guys, like Garf. It's the 72. I'll also keep opening... What was the crunk worth? I'll also keep opening standard discs, because... 
there. Making money. <laughs> you will master always makes me feel happy. I look in there, I'm like, alright. Actually made money gambling. Easy peasy. <laughs> no advice, by the way. This is all like speculative prices and you have to sell them and everything. Hold <laughs> don't call me pick. I overspend and I need to get back that money <laughs> back out of Illuvitars. That's what I mean. Like, it's easy to be in over your head and then you have to put in more to actually gain something out of it. Like, Mr. Space Lover right here, he's getting 12 ILV every week. He's gonna get his, I don't know, 100,000 bucks back in no time, but probably more. I don't know. This is a rich man's game. And I don't feel like I'm poor, but I'm certainly not um, Illuvium. Web free rich. So <laughs> I think I'll keep out of this game. Is this Kieran? Why is he top? He's surely gonna try to get up in the top 10 or whatever now. Probably outsourcing it to Fraggy to resleeve all this stuff right now. There's the big guy. <laughs> Taking up a mortgage to, <laughs> to stay in the Louvitar's leaderboard. <laughs> well, after all, it's not lost, right? It, it would be different if you sleeve the Illuvitars and then they're like... They're burnt or whatever. You can still sell all of them and the prices of all of them might go up. You might still... Like out of your whatever it is, somebody invests 5 Ethereum, maybe in a year it's gonna be worth 10 Ethereum. That's the speculation, right? Fifty-five weeks on rank one for 40k. Fifty-five weeks is a year, right? No, 52 is a year. Down around 20 bucks per week, and what if he spent 100k on it? On it? Satan bought 5,000 regular discs. That's still like five, 55 weeks at current pricing. Yeah, that's crazy. And there's gonna be other whales coming for it too. Let's see. No, no, I was joking actually. <laughs> like, it's gonna take forever to get your money back if you will ever get it back. But even if you get a little back and then you sell your whole collection, kind of made money, I guess. Like a lot of layers to this speculative album game. But those guys high up here, I think they would have gone in it even if there were no rewards. So I guess that's just uh, the cherry on top. Satan bought 5,000 regular discs. What the hell? How much is one regular disc? Ten bucks? Let's say with the arbitrage that we have with SLV2 it was five bucks. 
That's insane. Just the time it takes for opening all of those. That's 25,000 bucks. And that's it or did he did he put in a lot of more money to to buy like specific illuvials that he was missing and stuff? Where is he in the leaderboards? Searching you? Here, write his name. Yeah, tin. No, you've been here. But he was rank one, no? Maybe he's re-sleeved or his, his stuff is buggy. Artemis is 16. At a girl, that's that's dope. Yams, there's a lot of a lot of people that I've seen a lot in the community up here. Took him a few days to open them all. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> oh, his wallet glitched out. Yeah. Seems a bit buggy the system, so I guess they're gonna delay it for sure. Like that would be, it would be messed up. All right, the delay is confirmed. Good to go. Thanks for tuning in, brother. Good to talk to you. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna close it soon. I think we'll play some arena now, and then we're gonna call it a day. Good luck with your leaderboard adventures, Garth. Uh, Kieran just posted a message. Dear Illuvium Beyond players, we hope this message finds you well. We wanted to provide you with an update regarding the leaderboard and keywords program. Maybe I should put on my Australian accent. Oi lads! <laughs> I can't do it, I'm so bad at accents. I wish I could do them. A friend of mine can do a per perfect Australian accent and I'm wrecking up every time he does it. Anyway, in order to deliver the best possible experience to you, we value our valued players. We have decided to postpone the launch of the rewards program until we have resolved the issues completely. The satisfaction and enjoyment are our top priorities. We believe that waiting just a bit longer will be worthwhile in the end. For sure, man. Like imagine you're Satan. Satan. And you... <laughs> you open 5,000 standard discs. 
takes you like three days just to open them. You rank one and then your then your wallet glitches out and you're not even on the leaderboards anymore. <laughs> and they start the reward program. We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause and appreciate your patience as we diligently as we work diligently to address these concerns. We will get notified as soon as the reward program is ready to commence. There. On a personal note, I'm truly sorry for this delay. I know how many people are excited about the rewards program I'm considering adding to the first week from my own tokens because I know how many people will be disappointed about this announcement, including myself. No, man, chill. Stop stop throwing away money. It's insane. Every time something goes a little bit wrong here, it's like, take my money. <laughs> I love you all. I mean, it's amazing from him. I, I just don't want him to... To, throw, <laughs> to to lose all his money because of it's normal right it's i don't know i think it's it's not nice that everybody makes a big deal out of makes a big deal out of like little delays or whatever this is a gaming industry this is like the most common thing that can happen delaying a release or whatever like everybody who joins a gaming project who thinks everything will be on time and every timeline will be held is very delusional. Alright, one more disc. The one true disc. To rule them all. And we then we bond our first Illuvatar. I've not bonded one Illuvatar, I feel bad about that. I love the Illuvatars, I'm just not so down with the accessories to be honest. Some of them are really nice, but most of them kinda yeah, are not my personal thing. Alright, Ram. Ah, uh, here. Close. Pretty close. Ram. Fire. Not too bad. Uh, let's close this. Bond one. Let's bond one. Illuiter. Any suggestions? Which one? Go for the Kuka. I guess once you bond your Illuvitars, you really remember them and you... Like if I bond all my tier zeros, then it's gonna be easy to replace them in the sleeves. Because I know which one to put in there. Alright, let's see. Definitely need some glasses. Probably those. Oh, hell yeah. I like how they're a little bit transparent and you can still see the eyeball right there. Headwear, I'm not so sure. The bandanas, I think, are a good fit on most, but the caps are don't fit very well usually. They're too high up there. Well, actually, with Cook, it looks sick. I don't like the sideways poser look of the cap, but let's see how a banana will look. Yes, sir. Way better. Maybe another bandana, chrome. Oh, I'm enjoying this already, way better. Fits with the glasses, good fit so far. Let's go for a nice necklace maybe. I think for the next wave or next set or whatever, it should bring in a bit more like, some fashion designer expert. 
Maybe it's just me, but for example, all the dog colors, I don't know. Ah, what am I saying? It looks sick. Going with it. Luca just looks too good. Everything looks pretty good on him. Except the clown nose, I guess. <laughs> That's just awful. Why would you do that? Those antennas, I don't really get either. Why, why would there be a motor? I, I don't know. See. Badge is always nice. We got badges and clown noses, that's it. Oh, well, we also got the smoke stuff. Pretty solid. What's that skin? Make him badass with the ice car. Can't even see it. How about a nipple piercing? Pretty dope. Gotta say. Gotta say that looks pretty dope. First bondedy Louis Tar, here we go. And I must say it's actually way more fun than I expected it to be. I guess I just saw like all those really shitty looking ones on the Louis decks where I was like, nah, I'm not gonna do that. But those people just bonded them wrong. Like you could do it way better. We You look in here. Me again. How do I see everything? Mine. There we go. Now if we scroll through here, I'm sure in no time we're gonna see something very ugly. Actually, we're not seeing any bonded wheels at all. Alright. Stage 2. Where's all the bonded illuvitors? No, no. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like, <laughs> I go on the illuvitor and I see a guy like this. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Why would you do that? That looks absolutely awful. You completely ruined those two. Look at them. It's like some weird sect. And if you compare it the one I'm trying to do right now. You'd almost say it's an upgrade. There's no way you can say this is an upgrade. Looks horrible. All those freaking coin eyes and clown noses. Like this one, not bad, right? This one, uh, we're getting close. Hey, that accent looks super badass with the scar, the bandana, dog color, this one even more so. Then you got this one and you're like, what is going on? Why would anybody do that? So I guess bonding can be really, really good, can look really, really nice. But you can also screw things up a lot. Like, this is a skill game. Yeah, I wanna take back that. Here is, I think Tattoo is the only one where you can use coins and it looks kind of cool. It's 
kind of integrated in those eyes. I guess Cuckoo looks alright too, but this just looks wrong. Yeah. Nice bonding. Do it. Do it. Animate. Look at that guy. Doesn't look so paranoid anymore. Nobody can even tell. Ah, that was cool. I like the experience. And this guy looks fire. This guy looks freaking awful. <laughs> yeah. Make sure to bond, but bond them good. Don't make them look like clowns. Just don't use clown noses at all. Boycott them. Play some arena. Maybe one game arena until we die one time, only one life. Goes all of this. All right, need better music for that, though. Let's see, it's the first game of the day, first try. I haven't seen this deck yet. And we got one life, if I die one time, stream ends right away. And we got a lot of support stuffs. Okay, let's go with the dagger. Only real offensive option. And the shield. Kind of spent a lot of mastery points on that, but it's too late. It is what it is. Getting five income from the hundred mastery points saved. Every 20 mastery points gives you one income. I feel like I say this way too often, but this is the most important thing of the early game. Building up bank, building up your income. Also not So, first time of the day, we're gonna try to play this deck. I've never seen it before. We got one life. If we die, we're out. And obviously, we're not gonna take this dagger because we're definitely gonna lose to this Earth Doka. So we're just gonna bring in the Flish as our damage dealer and our Ranger right here is gonna be the tank. We got 25 mastery points left to use up. Just gonna do it with the shield and bond our two units right here. And we're gonna press the start button. As soon as we die once, the stream ends, no matter what. No excuses, no reduce. Not even close. Didn't even break a sweat. Alright, what we got here? We got a Bulwark Stage 3 Stoic Hydrolinks. Um, I think we're gonna stay with our range of being the tank. I don't think that's gonna change throughout the whole game. And just by giving him the armor, we're gonna get so much stronger already. 
Um, could maybe bring in this theory instead of the flish and then downgrade our armor a little bit to the physical or hybrid right here. So we stay over 100 mastery points. Oh. Yeah, Ranger is gonna have an easy time tanking him. Uh, looks good. Definitely a bit harder than usual, those two first waves. Usually you can get away with keeping like 120, 140 mastery points. Damn, I really need to remix this. I need a hype playlist, hype gaming music playlist. Alrighty, this looks like a super easy wave. Archie's pretty much useless right here. We're gonna ignore him, gonna go on to this side. We could try to get out a, a little bit more income, but let's just play it like this. Let's see the damage of the Archie. <laughs> 200. Uh, it's really... He's really ignorable over there in the corner. Alright, what we got? Three bulwarks? Usually versus bulwarks, best call is going fighters, especially early on in the game. With really good late game units. Seer is one of my favorite units in the game. And I might even bring in Seer right now. Tell the Fury, bring in Seer, let him spin into those three melee units. It's a bit risky, usually you don't want to bring those high cost units in early. Just say they get better um, in the late game. Early game, it's better to instead of this guy bring in a Fury and an Axon or something. But we're gonna try it. We need to try stuff out. We need our Ranger to tank a lot of the damage. We're gonna reposition a little bit here. The Ranger is actually tanking all three units. It would have been enough if he would have tanked two of them, but as you can see, the Ranger is super tanky, giving our here time to start spinning he actually hitting those two guys even though they're not in range but yeah the longer the seer lives the tankier he will get so now right now he's way tankier than he would have been in the beginning of the fight it's not gonna be hard to win this two on one like i said it's pretty risky to bring in a, a big illuvial trying to win like a one versus three just with one unit but he could still do it, uh, but it doesn't look like it. Arbinger is pretty strong. Uh, Behemoth is pretty strong in the, uh, never mind. In the one-on-one -on -one scenarios, because he's stunning every few auto hits. But timeout came in. Anyway, that's it. That's all. If you want to see more gaming content, and well, just let me know in the comments below what content you want, and I'm gonna make it for you because we're in this together, right? So I'm thinking about doing arena, daily arena videos again, because when we did that a few months back, uh, I really had fun doing that and I think I had uh, you guys enjoyed it a lot. So I'm thinking about bringing that format back, just doing one daily arena video. Um, yeah, but we'll see. Thanks for tuning in. Peace out. Have a good one. Bye.